Hey guys, this is Chris here with Lazy Oaks once again. Now we're going to be talking about how to brush manes and tails. So manes and tails, especially if they're long, tend to get really tangled up and snarled up. So there's a bunch of different products that you can use to spray in there. And there's some really good ones. There's some creams that you can add there. Cowboy Magic makes some really nice stuff. Um, I'm going to talk to you about this show sheen we've been using lately. It's called the Original Hair Polish and Detangler. The main thing that we like about this is the spray nozzle, instead of it being a circle, it's actually flat. So what it allows you to do is as you're spraying, you can kind of spray up and down like this and you get a really even coverage and you don't overlap anywhere uh, double. So the other thing is it also works over the body so I can have one bottle to spray everything. We also use the pink stuff sometimes. It's, it, sometimes it's really you know, popular with cutters. The problem with pink stuff is you don't wash the horse regularly enough, it does get kind of gummy. This tends to stay slippery. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna spray her mane up and down like this and I'm gonna get a little bit of the spray on the whole part of the mane. You know, women who have long hair know this, or men who have long hair know that if you have tangles, you want to start at the bottom and work your way up. So what we're going to do is start down here at the bottom, and I'm just going to brush through. And once we get it to where I'm not getting hung up at all in any of this hair, then I'm going to move up a little bit higher. I'm going to work through this until, once again, that it's not getting hung up in any part of it. So then I'm going to start from the very top and work my way down. If you have any really bad snarls, you're gonna to want to really soak them in whatever solution you're using for your detangling, and then try to work it out by hand, because if you just brush through it, you're gonna rip it out. Come here, sweetheart. Back up. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the forelock. And with the forelock, same situation. A lot of horses do not like being sprayed anywhere near their face, so you gotta be kind of careful introducing this to them. But I'm gonna just gently spray. See, she doesn't like it very much. All right, and then, same situation, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the forelock and then I'm gonna work my way up until I have everything nice and slippery. All right, then I'll move on to her tail. Tail's gonna be somewhat the same procedure. She's a really good girl about this, but what you're gonna to wanna to get in the habit of doing is grabbing the tail and bringing the tail off to the side in case something scares the horse or something happens, you're not right behind them. So I'm gonna grab this tail and you're gonna see me rotate the tail back and forth as I'm spraying the solution on this tail because it'll get nice even coverage. Okay, now same thing as with the mane. We're gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna hold it and you're gonna see me do the same thing. You're gonna see me rotate the tail back and forth as I'm brushing and then you'll see me move further up the tail. Okay, and I'm just gonna try to get any snarls out of there and I'm gonna work my way up. And when you get to the dock, which is that solid part, the actual muscly part of the tail, you're gonna to wanna to be careful to not brush too hard especially if you've gotten used to brushing out, you know, some tangles down on the bottom. You want to kind of want to take your time when you get up here to make sure that you're not getting too aggressive once you actually have tissue under there. All right, now we've done her mane, we've done her forelock, and we've done her tail, and she's done. So that's kind of how we go about brushing the mane, the tail, and the forelock. And once again, this stuff that we've, you know, lately been using a lot, it's called uh, Shoshin by Absorbing and it's the original hair polish and detangler. And like I said, the main thing that we like about it is that horizontal nozzle makes it really, really easy to fan it across without getting any areas that have way too much. This also can be used as a body polish, so you can actually take it and you can spray it all over their body to give them a little bit of a sheen as well. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.